I'm Crazy Dave, and this is my two minute tech talk on Game Over. If you like what you see, click the button below. Click, 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 subscribe, and make us part of your weekly routine on Game Over. Hey, thank you for tuning in to your two minute tech talk for this week. May go a little bit longer on Game Over. You ever hear Game Over? Have you ever heard anybody say that? The best person who ever says that ever is Bill Paxton in Aliens. Here, listen. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Anyways, let's get started. It's official, folks. Guess who ponied up $8 billion? Amazon did. And why? Because they are buying MGM. That's right. Amazon's going to buy MGM for $8 million. That's a lot of money. Not only will Amazon get all of the library that MGM has to be able to show it anytime they want, they will also now be able to charge Netflix and other streaming services when they choose to show an MGM movie and they can set the price on that for whatever they want because they own it. So little competitive edge there maybe by owning that studio. Another thing is they will have the full MGM studio at their fingertips for Amazon Originals. Speaking of that sweet Amazon MGM deal, not everybody's super happy with it. That's right. Senator Amy, she called the Justice Department to start a probe on the Amazon MGM deal. And it seems that all the Republicans are right behind her. She seems to think that it's violating some antitrust laws. Hmm. Let's see. Amazon now owns MGM. Amazon can show all MGM movies whenever it wants. And Amazon can charge Netflix whatever they decide they want to to show an MGM movie. No, that's all fair and legit. This is America. That's how we do business here. Summer months are coming, and with summer months comes summer heat. And with summer heat, electricity demands go up for air conditioning and all sorts of other good things. So guess who's putting a kibosh on crypto mining? That's right. Iran bans cryptocurrency mining for official and unofficial authorized and unauthorized crypto miners for four months. That's right, for four months to stave off blackouts. They're real worried about not having enough power for people to be able to just live off of when everybody's just sucking down all that power to mine those Bitcoins. There's a new sheriff in town, and his name is Tell, Intel. That's right, Intel releases its standalone GPU to compete against big makers like NVIDIA and AMD. So now we've got a threesome. Whoever said that was bad. Going right now in the GPU industry. So Intel is revealing their Iris XE standalone GPU, but in a world, a lone world, where you can't achieve the purchase of a video card because the mining industry and the greed has tore it all up. You can still buy an Iris GPU. Yep, you can. That wraps it up, folks, for this week's two-minute tech talk on Game Over. I'm Crazy Dave. Thanks for watching. Hey, you have a safe, happy, and joyful, totally relaxing holiday weekend because we all know that we need it. Thanks for watching Game Over and making us part of your week. Bye.